everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're back at the Barbie diorama. I created a living room, a kitchen, and a bedroom. But now I need a bathroom. I went to U-Haul to grab a box. I got this small one. I think it'll be the perfect size. I don't want the bathroom to be too big because it is a small apartment. I removed one of the sides. And then the bottom flaps. Let's see if this is going to work. I grabbed my vanity that I recently found at a thrift store. And this toilet that I can't remember where I got from. I can put a shower in the corner, make it a corner shower, but I really don't like corner showers. I think I'd rather put the shower against the back wall the door will be on the right side. What if I put the toilet on the right side as well? No, I don't like it. Maybe the toilet should be there. I think this is the layout I'm going with. But first the flooring. I'm using the scrap piece of Bristol board. and cover it with this checkered shelf paper from the dollar store. But instead of laying it down straight, I want the tiles to appear diamond-like, so I'm going to apply it sideways. Oops, I almost laid the Bristol board down in the wrong position. I messed up a bit on this corner. I shouldn't have removed the backing before I started laying it down. Now to the walls. First, I'm going to cut a doorway.
The doorway is going to be four and a half inches by 13 and a half inches. The cardboard is too thin and I want to create a brick wall, but first I need to add some layers to the cardboard so it won't warp. I'm gluing down two layers of the foam board to each side. I want to make sure when the diorama is all set up, all three walls are touching each other. I used white glue and sprayed it around with a sponge. After I applied the other layer, I put some weight on it with some heavy items so it'll dry flat. foam board and cardboard did warp a little, so I'm trying to fix it by bending the sides. The apartment is mostly made up of brick wall, so I want the bathroom to have some brick wall as well. I'm using egg cartons for my brick. I'm using my cutting mat as a guide to measure the brick. The brick size is half inch by one inch. Before I apply the brick, I cut the foam board from my doorway.
First, I'm going to measure 16 inches up, where the brick will start. I'm hoping I have enough brick to cover the walls. I tried drawing some guidelines with the level, but I think the level was too big, I couldn't get a good grip on it, and I messed up all the lines. It's going to be confusing. After the brick is laid and all dry, I mix some paint and baking soda for more texture and painted both walls white. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the middle wall where the shower will be. The paintbrush was shedding a lot of bristles, so on the second coat of paint, I'm using a sponge.
I love how the brick walls turned out. Now I need to give this cabinet a makeover. First I'll remove all the stickers and give it a good sanding. I don't want any pink to show, so I'm painting the inside white as well as the top, which will be the countertop. For the outside of the cabinet, I really like this look. So I'm using coffee stir sticks and skewers.
I love how the cabinet turned out. I'm not sure what color I want to stain it yet. Probably the same as the kitchen cabinets. What do you think? I can't leave this toilet green, so I'm painting it white. That's all I've done for the first part of this bathroom diorama, but I can't leave it like this for this video. I have to do some styling. I found the shell paper from the thrift store, and I think it'll look good temporarily while I figure out what to do with the shower. I think I have an idea, I'm just hoping it'll work out. I have this Barbie bathtub, plus I'm going to borrow some decor from the other rooms in the apartment and the dollhouse bathroom. The bathroom looks really cute, but I think it will look so much better when I finish it in part two. There will be a shower, plus some lighting, maybe some shelves, the door, and I have to finish the vanity, plus add a faucet. So please subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye for now!